Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm really excited to show you a card layout from a card exchange I got from Elizabeth Price and this is it. So it's just got this circle right here and the base of the card is the cardstock right here. You can see from here to here. And then it's got this designer series paper with a pocket here you could use for a gift card. So I just love it. I have kind of become obsessed with this layout. I just kind of went crazy and did a bunch of cards. I'm going to show you how to do this layout because it was so fun. I'm going to start with the card base. I made a template for you so it's really easy to make. You're going to cut a piece of seven and three fourths by five and a half. And this right here in the middle is four and a quarter. So I'm going to score one inch over here and two and a half inches from this side. I already have that done on this piece right here with this old olive card stock. And I'm going to make a wedding card with this. The things I'm going to be using for this wedding card are everyday greetings and some designer series paper. Gold mercury vellum, season of green and gold, and grateful greenery vellum. All these things are on our online store. Let me get back to the card. So I went ahead and scored and folded this right here. So we're also going to cut two pieces that will have a quarter of an inch all the way around them to fit on these spots right here. So you're just going to cut two and a fourth by five and a quarter. And I love this paper. It's got this gold on it. I mean, you could use this for Christmas, but I think it's really good for weddings. And this one is three fourths of an inch by five and a quarter. Okay, so that's our front. Now we're going to open it to the inside. I'm already going to go ahead and put our center piece that you can stamp on or you can use for your sentiment right there and just basic white. It's four by five and a quarter for that piece. Now this is kind of the difficult one, at least I think it is. If you notice how the direction of this paper, the flowers or the leaves are facing up and down. This is the same way with the wedding bells and the greenery. Okay, I'm gonna turn this and this doesn't matter. So you've got to think, when I put this on here, how is it going to look? That will be on the inside of it, so I just put it right there. So that's going to be on the inside of it. And remember, I'm going to fold this over to make the pocket. So when you close it, this is going to paper that shows in between the two. So I really like that, but make sure, because I did this by mistake, I went ahead and put the paper that way, which is okay, but I think it looks good in the direction. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and score this designer series paper. This is five and three fourths by five and a half, and you want the five and a half to be the direction piece. Then I'm going to score this at one and three fourths. Now the same thing is you want to make sure the score line is on this side because we're going to flip it over. So I'm going to turn that upside down and do it at one and three fourths and lightly do it because remember with designer series paper you don't want to do it too heavy. Let me move that over. Okay there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a punch in here and a circle. This one you could use any punch this is just one and three fourths circle punch and I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down on both sides for the pocket. Now remember this is on the inside of our card so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to this piece so I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on this side right here and this is on the inside not the outside so I'm going to fold this over crease it down with all that thickness and fold this over. So there we've got our card. Now we're going to put some embellishments on it. And this is the cool thing about this paper. The vellum, the white vellum with the gold here is gorgeous. 
and that fancy congratulations. So you want to make sure that you only put adhesive on the one side. So I just turn this upside down and make sure I put it on the one side. I really like that Elizabeth did this card and I really appreciate that she shared it in this card exchange for us. Okay, so there we've got our card. I'm gonna open it up again and you've got this fun pattern and then you've got a gift card area. Let me show you some of the other ones that I did. Okay, this one is like a Father's Day or just a masculine one. This one's done with a Country Woods set of designer series paper. And this one's very fun. This is the Frames and Flowers designer series paper in our catalog. It's already got the design on there and you just stamp the birthday wishes and these are already pre-cut. So you just punch them out. So we've got that one and see how the direction is of the paper up and down. This is the Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper. And this is a fun one too with this yellow and blue and orange. Um, I just love how fresh it looks for the summer and you're the best kind of person. Isn't that cool? You can give anybody this card and it says hello on the front. And of course I've got another designer series paper that is done in six by six. This is Lily Pond Lane designer series paper. So I cut the big circle out, punch these flowers, and it actually has ducks on this paper, but I kind of like just using the flowers and the gingham, but you do see the ducks when you open it up. So they're just like swimming. And I did cut this wrong, but I decided to just put it together anyway. Isn't it fun seeing all these designer series paper and how they coordinate with each other? I just love showing you all the beautiful products that we have. I hope this layout gives you some inspirational ideas and I would really love you to share some of your ideas that you stamp with this. Go to my Facebook, Stampin' Jill VIP, and share your ideas. Can't wait to see what you do. If you like any of these products, click the links below. And don't forget, we will have a blog post on these in a little more detail with the measurements and how you score. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.